Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with Geekster Labs, and today I'm giving you guys my review of the life-proof case for the Samsung Galaxy S3, and this is the Nude Edition. And this version of the life-proof case comes with two pieces, a front piece and a back piece, and the front piece does not have a built-in screen protector, but instead seals your phone around its edges and prevents water and dirt from getting inside the case. There are special cutouts for the speaker and a special covering for the home button. And if we look on the back of the front piece, we can see the rubber ceiling that prevents water from getting inside. Now the back plate has a more rubberized feeling and it seems to absorb shock fairly well. It has special plugs for the USB port and headphone jack, as well as waterproof openings for the camera, speakers, and the flash. The power buttons and the volume buttons are also rubberized and waterproof. They also include a screen protector just in case you do want that extra protection to help keep scratches off your screen, but this case is still waterproof even if you choose not to use the screen protector. And as you guys know, I like my screen protectors. I'm paranoid. I don't like my screen getting scratched, so I chose to apply it. And it doesn't seem to cover the screen completely, but you really can't tell whenever the case is actually on the phone. Putting the case together really isn't that difficult. You just have to press the two pieces together all around the phone until it's actually sealed and you will hear a lot of snapping letting you know the case has snapped together. Now opening the case is a different story. You have to use a coin and wedge the case open and honestly I thought it was going to break the first time I tried opening it but it seemed to open just fine after applying a little more force and I'm really comfortable with applying to a case and the rubber and the plastic on the openings seemed to get a little dinged up though as I tried opening it. So as far as being life proof, I would say that this case does a pretty good job. It is fully sealed, I even dunked the phone in the pool and found no water inside the case. Now life proof sends a dummy plastic phone to test the case out to make sure that it's waterproof and that it seals. And make sure you always test the cases before you actually put your phone in it and dunk it in the water. But it did do a good job at keeping out water. It also did a good job at keeping out dirt and dust and the phone looked virtually the same as when I first put the phone in. And the case is fairly shock absorbent and it's going to survive your everyday drops and falls even if you don't have a screen protector installed but it might scratch up your phone if you put it in your pocket with some keys and so you might want to think about installing the screen protector that comes with it or picking up the other version that does have a screen protector built in. Now this case isn't perfect. Sometimes I find it annoying to press the home button because whenever I press the button on the case it doesn't always register on the phone so I feel like I have to actually mash the button to get it to work sometimes. And opening the case can get a little bit frustrating after a while and I don't like having to use a ton of force to open it because I feel like something's going to snap and the screen protector doesn't really cover every inch of the phone. It looks like it's just a little bit too small and so if they make it a little bit bigger that cover all areas of the front screen I think that would help. But overall the good points of this case definitely outweigh the bad. And honestly, I've been waiting for this life-proof case for the Galaxy S3 since the Galaxy S3 was actually announced, and I'm glad they finally got one out for it, and I would say that this is a really nice case and does an excellent job at being life-proof. Now, there's also a fray version of the case that comes with a built-in screen protector in the front piece if you don't want to mess around with applying a screen protector yourself, but I found this model to work just fine, and the choice between fray and nude is probably a personal preference on whether or not you like having the screen being able to be touched or whether or not you want that extra protection with the built-in screen protector. If you want to check out the LifeProof cases for the Galaxy S3, I will put the link to LifeProof's website in the description below. And let me know what you guys think about this case, if you guys think this is a life-proof case, if it really protects your phone well, and whether or not you think it's worth your money to pick up to protect your Galaxy S3 or really any other smartphone that life-proof makes cases for. And so that's going to wrap up this review. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember to leave the video a like, as well as subscribe for more tech videos. And also remember to check out geeksterlabs.com for all of your tech news, reviews, and much more. And so that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.